Okay, so I was watching Stephen Reardon's video today. He had, a, I think, an iConnect, a Sporlin Smart Tool, and the Testo iProbes. And then he had them on different uh, devices. And the uh, readings were different. It's really interesting. I'm glad you did that, Stephen, dude. Way to go. So what I got here is I don't have any other different devices. I just have the Testos. And I'm not going to be pro or con for one tool's better than the other. That's not my deal. Um, but what I can do is get the Testo. I have a very old iPad here. You can tell by the connector right here. This is the second generation iPad, very old. This is iPhone 6S, very new. And this, and this is Apple, iOS. And then this is a Nexus 7 tablet I got that's Android. And... Let's find the smart prober. Um, so let's see what these read on these devices. I zeroed out the, the probe, so they're zero. And the temperature in my house right now is 67.5. And you can see all the lights are on. So that's 67.5. So let's make it fair and square. We'll close the app. And I'll just come over here like this, and we can go double tap, close the app. That's all the other windows I had open. Let's take it over to the Nexus. So that was 67.5. Smart probes. Bloop. Let's see if they tune in. It's This is an older device as well. sixty seven point five we'll see if it finds the uh temperature probes gives him a this is the nexus I like this little tablet because it was cheap and for just being out there it works and you can see there's no plus sign it already has the numbers it's just waiting for it there it goes six seven six there's zero zero sixty seven point five so those were the same so let's close this app give it a minute it's so slow there it goes okay now let's turn it on the iphone now let's go over to our smart probes you know it's got to find them it found 104 first let's see what it finds next this will be cool Found the temperature probe, 67.6. So that's one tenth of a difference. And then it's still looking for the the other pressure tube. So maybe the Nexus isn't so bad after all. See that? Let's see. There it goes. I had to add it. I don't think I ever added that. That's what it was. I never added that one to the iPhone yet. That was my $44 probe. 67.7. Let's close this app. Let's see if it picks up any of these. 67.7. Let's close it off this app. Now let's see if it if it'll pick up on the old iPad. There it goes, 67.7. So, three different devices, one totally different operating system, and they're all reading the same. Very old iPad, brand new iPhone 6S, very old Nexus 7 with Android, all reading the same temperatures. That's the end result. Let's, uh, I don't know if that will help out what Steven was looking at or not, but I thought I'd give it a try since I had these devices and these probes at home. Okay, so I got the ice, it's all melted um, in the water. I'm at 32.6 on the Nexus. I'm 
on the iPhone 6s. Let's see what we're at. And let's see where it's at on the old iPad. Smart probes, here we go. 32.6. And I had let the ice melt in there for a long time, so it seems like they're pretty, pretty, uh, pretty darn good. Okay, I hope that helps everybody. All right, thanks for watching.